the second anniversary of the start of Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope, which raised millions of dollars for cancer research. It was April 12, 1980, when Terry Fox dipped his artificial leg in the Atlantic Ocean to mark the beginning of his cross-country run, which raised $24 million for cancer research. On Tuesday, at a ceremony in his hometown of Port Coquitlam, B.C., a stamp will be issued in honor of that achievement. We're held in three communities across the country today, with the main one taking place in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, his family's hometown. The other two were held in St. John's, Newfoundland, and Thunder Bay, the starting and finishing points of the one-legged runner's heroic attempt to run across the country. The occasion was the unveiling of a new stamp, bearing a drawing of the young man in full stride. Terry managed to raise more than $24 million to help in the battle against cancer, the disease that ended his run in September of 1980 and took his life 10 months later. Andre Willette, the federal minister responsible for the post office, termed the stamp only a small token of respect for Terry's courage. But he added it would be accessible to all citizens, would carry the runner's image wherever Canadian mail was sent throughout the world. For the first time here in Hamilton and at post offices across the country, on Saturday here in Hamilton, there will be a stamp exhibition honoring Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope. The exhibition is being organized by the Hamilton Philatelic Society and will take place in the lobby of the main post office. For collectors, two souvenir items will be offered. There will be a special envelope bearing a Terry Fox stamp and a souvenir booklet containing a block of the stamps. Anything beyond the actual cost of the stamps will be donated to the Canadian Cancer Society. On the scene, Stan Key's TV 11 newsroom.